Chains. 6-4 victors over the Florida Panthers. Why do all my teams give me gray hairs? Um, it was a normal hockey game. We're up 2-0. Um, going into the third period. Uh, stifling the Florida Panthers transition. And the blue line. And not allowing um, any really great day chances at all. I think they had only two shots in on goal in the second period. Um, but then it... Um, the third period went bonkers and insane, um, but uh, we got off to a great start. Brett Burns continues to be on fire. Two goals tonight. Um, he got the first one off a nice face-off win by Sebastian Ajo, and he just winged his laser past Alex Lyon to make it one nothing. And then in the second period, just very Kokanyemi was able to take a loose puck um, and create a turnover and wing it to the net and win past Lyon. Really, really good play. Um, just wanted it more. And really good net front by Marty Natchez uh, to make it 2 nothing. And then Florida came back. Their pretty much first transition opportunity. They were able to uh, score on on Frederick Anderson and then uh, Fred, Frederick Anderson a really really loose uh, puck handling moment behind the net didn't know what he wanted to do with it and um, Lombard chased it and was able to get a really good pass to be able to tie it 2-2 and then Rod Brindamore probably his best time out of his coaching career um, at least regular season coaching career because then the Canes came back with two goals in 22 seconds. Um, Brett Burns doing it again, but Jack Drury did a lot of the hard work keeping a puck in, battling, and getting it to Burns. And really, really good net front again, and Burns' laser is just not being stopped. 3-2, to two, and then a really amazing bump-up shift. The Oh, captain, my captain, a stellar pass. Tiesper Foss was in the right spot. And again, really, really good net front. We are, um, our net front game has been awesome the last couple of games. Our power play is still not getting results. We are 0 for 4 tonight. Our penalty kill was really good. Um, holding Florida 0 for, 0 for 2. And their second one was... Majority six on four, down four to two with 401 left. And then at the expiration of that um, power play for Florida, Ghost with a perfectly timed getting out of the penalty box. Empty netter, 5-2 with about 201 left, and you felt really, really good. And then um, Florida just winged one towards the net. I can't remember who it was because so many people scored. Um, and it went right through the five hole on Freddie, so 5-3, and then, of course, they went with the empty net again, so it's six on four. Um, Anderson had a really, couple really good saves in the chaos, but Brett Pesci tried too hard on defense, uh, and fell down and left, uh, wide open there to make it 5-4 with about a minute left. And then Sebastian Ajo um, banged an empty netter after a really good defense by Tavo Teravainen. And um, Jalen Chatfield had some really important sticks tonight. I think with about seven minutes to go, he prevented a breakaway chance with his uh, stick. And he was willing to shoot tonight, so he really wanted to go to Chapman Do. So I really hope that confidence continues for uh, Chatfield. There was a lot of good defense tonight, and Freddie did make some great saves, especially in the first two periods, but that might have been <laughs> Frederick Anderson's worst period of hockey I've seen of of him, and I think we all can agree that I think Ronta has earned that starting goaltender, um, starting goaltender role. Just some really leaky goals, and um, 
shaky puck management from Frederick Anderson um, that made a game that felt in hand not so much, but the resiliency and just to keep um, keep pushing with all the injuries, all the unfortunate penalties and uh, situations that the Canes have been put through this year. Um, big, big, huge, amazing win. And everybody kind of had their fingerprints on this one um, in so many different ways. We had a lot, <laughs> a lot more block shots than usual, putting our body on the line. Usually we don't have to use our body as much, but tonight we did and we made sure a lot of those great A's didn't get towards Frederick Anderson, especially in the first two periods. So that was really nice to see. Um, you want the power play to look a little better, but it hasn't looked great um, for the majority of the season. So maybe it'll just get hot in the postseason when you really want it to. But there's a lot to like. Yasperi Kogunimi, um, confidence. Brett Burns is absolutely on fire. Um, he's streaking goal-wise. Brady Shea, um, his shot confidence is great. So there's a lot to like going into the playoffs, obviously. The New York Islanders are going to be tough with Elio Sorokin um, in net. But um, I'm really confident the Carolina Hurricanes and starting in Raleigh really, really helps that. And just to keep going after this back-and-forth insane Gray hair growing, um, gray hair growing battle is a mark of a champion. Congratulations, third metro, third division championship, second metro division championship. Rob Brandon Moore is amazing. Tim Gleason is amazing. All the players are amazing. Wish Beshnikov and Patrick were involved, but um, the resiliency of this team is unmatched, and I can't wait to see what uh, the playoffs bring. It's going to be a lot of nail biting, a lot of nerves, but a lot of fun as well. As always, let's go Kane. Let's stack those W's in the playoffs, boys.